Welcome to session two. I'll be posting my response to discussion in session one um, shortly. And so please uh, look back at that. It's at it's the top of the, the list of steps for session two. Uh, but this, this session will focus on understanding fear. Um, fear is the primary tactic used in media to get, and politics to get and keep our support. And I think it, it's one of the underlying components that really feeds polarization. If we can understand fear and how it affects us and work through that, we can do go a long way to, I think, to undermining polarization. Uh, we're going to start, though, with understanding the nature of emotion. Um, in 50 years of, of counseling and teaching, uh, I came across a lot of confusion about what emotions are and what they do and how to deal with them. So I tried to condense that down into some simple statements that give you a sense of, of what emotions really are and how they work, and that'll lead into how to manage them. Uh, I've also added a chapter on uh, restoring emotional balance. Um, it's not really directly related to polarization, but I thought I'd add it because we're talking about emotion and it'll kind of give a, a, a broader perspective if you want to check that out. Um, but getting into fear, which is, is the core of the session, uh, the key concept is that there's three kinds of fear and how we respond depends on what kind of fear it is, basically where it comes from. And so we'll understand how that works and, and, and what we can do about it. And the key there is, is learning to transform fear into caution, care, curiosity, and connection. Uh, and we'll talk about that a bit. And there's a simple acronym uh, that you can use. Uh, it's a problem solving approach that, I use, that I've used in my course in teaching and consulting for, uh, oh my God, since the early 80s. How many years is that? That's, anyway, uh, and so we'll go through that and you can apply that to any situation where you're experiencing some fear and, and help you to let go of that and to see and think more clearly uh, without being influenced by that emotion. So uh, I look forward to reading your questions and comments and discussion and, and uh, look forward to all of us benefiting from this session. Thank you.